In this video, I'm going to explain this painterly shading technique and how you can achieve it in both a hand-painted way and a procedural way. This technique achieves a painterly look without the need for complex geometry nodes. This guy explained the working of the technique very well, and I wanted to implement it both in a hand-painted way and a procedural way. However, I faced a few problems along the way, so I decided to make this step-by-step -step tutorial to share what I learned. I'll also show you how to create a procedural stroke generator in Substance Designer and import the substance as SBSAR into Blender for quick variations. This technique works very well because it is texture-based. Basically, what you do is you bake objects based normal maps of the object in Blender, and then you paint on it in Blender or any other painting software like Photoshop or Substance Painter. And then you import it back in Blender and use it in a shader. We will start with this model UVs. Make sure your object has UVs properly laid out in the UV editor and also make sure these are not overlapping. Because although normal maps can work with overlapping UVs, the object space normal maps will not bake properly with overlapping UVs. Next open shading workspace and assign a basic BSDF material. Add an image texture node and create a new image. Name that image and also save that in a folder and connect it to the color. Now make sure your object and image texture node are selected. Select the render engine cycles and in the bake section choose the bake type to normal and space to object and then hit bake. We will get this effect in Blender first. Once the bake is finished, open the texturing workspace and start painting on the texture. This technique works by painting brush strokes on the object space normal map, which we just baked. We then apply the texture as a normal map. One important thing for this technique to work is to paint brush strokes without changing the underlying color of the normal map. The overall color should remain the same. To do this, sample a color from any place on the texture and paint only in that region. This will give you the brush stroke look with the same underlying colors. Do this for the whole model. Once you are finished, open the shading editor and add a normal map node. Connect the texture to this node and change this tangent space to object space. Also change the color space to non-color. What you will get is this painterly look where once you shine a light on it, every stroke will show only one shade of the base color that will give this unique painting look. No matter how round the form is, every stroke will show only one shade. Moreover, instead of using this round brush, you can use a custom brush with a texture mask to get more variation in results. The same method can be applied in the Photoshop where you export this texture from Blender and open in Photoshop to do the same strokes. In Substance Painter, it gets trickier and more fun. You can also get the base color for every stroke which you can use in the shader to have more variations. Import your model in Substance Painter and also import the same texture as a texture. Bake the maps and add the imported texture into the base color of a fill layer. We can start painting brush strokes on this, but what we'll also do is add another channel for color variation. This channel will contain different luminance values for each stroke. We will use this in order to get more variations in the color. I will delete all other channels because we don't need those. Create a new paint layer and for the base color and diffuse color, select a color jitter generator. For the diffuse channel, select white and black as the colors and select this to random per stroke. What we want is a color between full black and full white for the diffuse channel. We will map this range to a different color in Blender according to our need. For the base color channel, what we want is to choose the color from this main texture for every stroke. Remember we have to paint with the same underlying color. Now with our different strokes that a channel will look like this. This is the base color channel and this is the diffuse channel. Continue painting on the whole model. Once you are done, go to Texture Export, go to Configuration, duplicate this PBR, name that Painting, delete all other channels except Base Color, duplicate this, rename this Diffuse and drag this Diffuse option here. Our outputs are all set. Export the two textures in a folder. Back in Blender import these two textures. Set this texture to non-color and connect it to the normal map. Connect this Diffuse texture to the Base Color. Add a color ramp node in between and do the tweaking to get different results. Now what you can do is iterate in Substance Painter add some more strokes. You can play with this, add different kind of strokes to get different results. We can also create the brush stroke procedurally. 
But what I am going to do is make three different strokes in Photoshop on different layers and export those separately. Once you do that open up Substance Designer and create a new graph. To get the same colored brush strokes from our texture, import your texture in Substance Designer. Import these three brush strokes in Substance Designer. Delete all other outputs except the base color because we don't need those. Add a tile sampler color node. It's going to be a simple graph where I connect these brush strokes to the pattern inputs. Connect tile sampler output to our base color output. Connect our object space normal to the color map input and also to the vector map input. To limit the strokes inside the UV islands, add a grayscale conversion and histogram scan node. This is just to create a mask for the strokes. Connect this mask to the mask map input. Now, we can change the values and look for a result. I think this is good. We got the normal map for our object with these brush strokes. We also need a diffuse grayscale color for each stroke so that we can remap that range to a range of colors in Blender. We can duplicate this tile sampler color node. Remove that color input node because we don't need that. Duplicate the base color output and connect the second tile sampler output to this output node. Change its label to diffuse. Go at the end of this node properties. Set color multiplier to zero and random luminance to full. Also connect the color to the background color to remove those black spots in the final result. Do the same for the second tile sampler node or at the end add a white background color. And that's it. Now our stroke generator is ready. Now, you can connect your object space normal here for every object in your scene, and the output textures will be generated. You can easily export by right-clicking on here, and then export output maps. Let's import these in Blender once again, and apply in their respective places. You have strokes on your model. But this is a long process. What you can do to make this process more easy and faster, you can expose the parameters for all these things and use this as a generator in Substance Painter or even Blender directly. I am going to make a procedural SBSAR file. Link is in the description. 
You can import that in Blender by installing Substance 3D Add-in for Blender. Links to download and configure the add-in are also in the description. You can also use that file in Substance Painter and use it as you would use a smart material. In Blender, you would get something like this in Shader Editor, where you will able to easily tweak different options for variety. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you learned anything or have any question, let me know in the comments.